All right. Hey guys, God bless you. I am in my car right now giving you an update on Hurricane Ian. As most of you probably know, I actually live in Tampa, Florida, not far from Tampa Bay, Florida. So I, I had to evacuate with my mom and my three kitties and I wanted to give you an update on it and tell you kind of how it's been going. It's been a little crazy because I've been moving around and been stuck in some rain, but um, thankfully we're at the hotel. My cats are inside, my mom's inside, so I'm in my car. Just kind of giving you a little bit of a candid update right now, and I hope this is okay. By the way, how do you guys like these little shots from the car? I, I, I actually prefer it. I like to just pop on my camera, talk to you guys, and then post it. And it's pretty easy just to kind of stay in communication. But also wanted to say a th quick thank you to the sponsor, one of my sponsors on my channel, my biggest sponsor on my channel, which is Noble Gold Investments. Thank you guys for sponsoring this channel. Um, I do a lot of traveling around the country. You know, I speak at uh, Clay Clark's event, the Reawakening Tour. You know, we travel on our own dime. Um, I don't ask Clay for money. And I don't think actually people should charge for speeches anyway. If you're going to share with patriots in the country, I think you should cover your own dime, you know, cover your own travel expenses. I don't ask for money and speeches. I just, I minister the gospel. So that that's free. I'm never going to charge anyone for that. If someone wants to tithe and give, that's on them. But I travel on my own dime. So it's nice that Noble Gold, you know, you guys help so I can actually do that and travel. And also I love to share testimonies on what I saw undercover when I worked for Project Veritas, you know, going deep into the democratic campaigns and socialist campaigns and communist campaigns, what I've learned there, what I've seen there. I love to share that on the stage too. And, and by the grace of God, have a, an amazing radical transformation from being like an atheist, liberal, you know, professional poker player on reality television to finding Jesus, becoming a conservative, going undercover for Project Veritas, and then, you know, being, being a Christian and, you know, finding, you know, the Lord, Christian conservative. So, um, on YouTube, I, for the past over two years, I have been considered dangerous. So I'm actually demonetized on YouTube. I don't make a dime on YouTube, even though I've appealed it last year. And I said, what's so bad on my channel? Which part is that you don't like the Jesus stuff that I talk about, you know, what's happening in the country part or what is it? So, you guys can can guess I got uh, you know my second strike because of something that rhymes with 2020 selection. So uh, you get my drift. I can't talk about that anymore, and that sometimes slips off my tongue, and I talk about it. So my bad. So I'm hanging on by a wire on YouTube. So make sure you're following my backup channel, which is Gathering Bride Ministries on YouTube. I'm also on Rumble too. So make sure you follow that. But <clears throat> anyway, thank you to Noble Gold for supporting the channel. Um, you guys check them out. I, I believe in gold and silver. I have it myself. I also have a little bit of uh, crypto as like a teeny bits of crypto as well. So I have a video on that too. You guys can check out. Anyway, back to a little update on Hurricane Ian. Uh, again, was uh, notified a few days ago. What happened was I was just in uh, Clay Clark's event reawakening tour in Idaho, was there with friends and family, and then also stayed in Washington State a little longer with family and friends, and Pastor Ruth was there, Pastor Timothy, and my family there, and so had just got to spend time, an extra few days, got back home to Tampa, and did ding da ding we got an alert that there is a hurricane warning coming right through Tampa. Ah, it's one of the reasons I moved to Tampa because it's been a hundred years since a hurricane went right through Tampa. Normally it's like on the east side of Florida and it we kind of just get like just the rains. I, I experienced it last year when I moved here, just some of the rains. I was like, oh, a tropical storm, that's fine. That's not a big deal. But we have a hurricane four coming right towards Tampa. I was like, oh my goodness, my cats, my mom. And and um, I don't know if I've ever shared it, but I, I volunteered at two different hurricanes and learned a lot about hurricanes from doing it. I mean, um, by the grace of God, Hurricane Sandy, when it hit New York, a bunch of friends and I, we went to go clean up in Staten Island. And I remember going there and a lot of people are just taking photos. And we came up to this house right on the coast, right on Staten Island, um, right where, you know, the Atlantic Ocean is and asked them if they needed any help. And the lady started hysterically crying. She goes, all these people here are taking photos. You're the first ones to ask me if I need any help. Yes, we have so much debris. Me and my husband, we're 75 years old. We can't carry into this. We need your, we need your help. So called reinforcements came in. It was like a group of 10 of us, almost nine or 10 of us just cleaning up and going from house to house to house, you know, spending all day. We came back the next day. It was so much fun and so rewarding to be able to volunteer and help and bless people and, um, you know, be involved. And by the way, go to your local communities. Like 
guys, I'm going back home and I'm going to be volunteering. I'm going to go down to Sarasota, Naples, have a lot of friends down there as well. I want to see if anyone needs help. So always good to volunteer and help after hurricane. Um, the Lord actually brought me to the second hurricane, which was Hurricane Harvey that hit Houston and Texas and in, in, in Texas around there and uh, went, went there, cle helped clean out Cleveland, Texas, uh, Houston, Texas. It was so bad. So many dead, dead animals. It was horrible. By the way, guys, take your animals with you. Take your animals with you. I took my three cats with me and I want to give a really quick tip. If you're traveling with animals, this has been a lifesaver. Thank you, Jesus, for this information. I don't know where I found it from. I think it was a YouTube video or maybe on tweet, Twitter. I don't know. But um, it was how to, you know, calm down your stressed out animals. Because my cat, when I took him on a little road trip one time to visit a friend two hours away when I lived in New York, my cat was screaming the entire time. I mean, he was hysterical. He was barely I mean, he was like, <laughs> Like he was just, I thought he was gonna have a heart attack. I was praying about, you know, on him the whole time. So anyway, found out Benadryl, liquid Benadryl. Make sure check online. I'm not your doctor, you know, just check online. I'm not your veterinarian. Check online, find out, you know, how much you can give them per weight. So I gave them a little bit. I didn't even give them like as much as they can. I give them a little bit. And even that, like they're kind of not foaming at the mouth, but the saliva comes out. It's one of the, um, one of the, uh, you know, the like, side effects kind of with cats and it's totally normal, but it freaked me out. And so I was like, oh my goodness, so I give them a lesson they're really like supposed to have, but it knocks them out. They're sleeping, they're calm. So it's been much better traveling with my kitties. It's been an amazing few days, but anyway, <clears throat> so we decide we're going to leave Tampa, Florida. Perfect. You know, packed up, got a hotel in Orlando. It's not supposed to hit Orlando at the time. I was like, perfect. So we got to Orlando it was only, you know, an hour, normally an hour trip for me, but it was three and a half hours with all the traffic, even though we left Tuesday morning and it was kind of long. So we get there finally, get the cats in the house, get in the hotel, get our stuff in the hotel. Me and my mom decide to go get some dinner right on, what is it? Orlando International Drive, the main road there. Lots of like little places to eat, lots of little even uh, amusement parks and stuff, right? Right on that uh, little road. That's where everyone travels to the tourists to go to Disney World. So anyway, we went out to dinner, had a great time. I get another alert. Da -da 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 -da. The the hurricane has changed course. Now, instead of going straight north, it's actually going to go northeast and hit Orlando. It's going to be right over Orlando. I'm like, oh no, because another reason why I'm leaving these, the hurricane, first of all, for safety, me and my, you know, mom and my animals, but also because of this car. If you haven't watched the video, like the Lord gave me a car supernaturally and it, by someone, you know, watches the channel. I mean, God is so good. He, the, the, you got to watch the video. If you didn't watch it, you have to see it. So the Lord gave me this car. I don't want it to drown. It's my baby and it's my father's car. So I don't want it to go. So I'm like, there's no way we're going to be in a hurricane. I don't care if it's hurricane one, <laughs> category one, I'm out of here. So anyways, by the grace of God, I switched hotels. So this morning we woke up early for, in Orlando. <clears throat> Went, jumped in my car, told the front desk lady, listen, I need to cancel the next few days. I'm actually leaving. Hurricane's coming here. You know, bless you guys. Prayed for them. And um, went up north. I am now north west the ho the hurricane's supposed to go northeast right through uh, Orlando I'm north northwest so it's just been kind of just rainy and windy but the drive was a bit iffy with the, the rainfall and all that but um, thankfully you know we're far away from southwest where the hurricane is right now praying for everyone there I have friends in Naples and Sarasota Venice even Jupiter as well a lot of patriots live out there praying for you guys Psalm 91 on you guys the blood of Jesus on you guys um, and <clears throat> want to just actually say tomorrow check out my I'm gonna post a video another video tomorrow I'm sharing a dream that I had a few weeks ago and uh, I'm just gonna say the name of the dream the, the name of the dream is silence of the lambs Silence of the Lambs. I've actually never watched the movie. I, I don't like scary movies, but I uh, had this dream last night, uh, a few day, a few a few weeks ago, and I just feel in my heart to share it with you. So check out my video tomorrow that I post. Uh, the Lord gave me this dream, and I was actually like shocked. And it makes sense with Silence of the Lambs because they're trying to silence me on YouTube. I got my second strike. So pray, pray for me as well. Pray for this channel. The Psalm 91 on the channel too. They don't take me off, but 
You guys can follow me on Rumble, uh, on Twitter, and also my backup channel, Gathering Bride Ministries on YouTube. Make sure you are subscribed there because if I'm out of here, I will be on my backup channel, Gathering Bride Ministries. So God bless you. See you tomorrow. I'm actually going to film the, the dream video right now. Got my dream here. So make sure you check that video tomorrow. Love you guys. Bless you. Be safe if you're in Florida. Praying for you guys. Bye.